And also another bizarre situation, the gun rights hero, George Zimmerman, who was able to get over $300,000 in donations to his legal fund, is now accused of cheating on his wife with multiple women. The Mail Online is reporting that just days after the acquittal uh, for George Zimmerman, he, quote, went AWOL, according to those who have spoken to the Mail Online. And he um, brought the brought this woman to his Florida home and the, the home was actually legally owned by Shelley Zimmerman's father. And you can actually hear Shelley Zimmerman in the recent video that was taken when she called the cops because George Zimmerman was threatening her with a gun. And you can actually hear her saying something like, there's a woman in there. You've got a woman in there. And then now George Zimmerman is accused of cheating on his wife with a second woman. So there's this ex fiance of George Zimmerman's who is involved with him. And there's a second woman that's involved with him. And it's just completely insane that this is all this guy just can't seem to keep it together. But I have to tell you, Lewis, I'm not shocked that a guy who has a history of violence uh, in terms of, of with police, he shot a kid after a, a confrontation that he provoked and he then is threatening his wife with with a gun. But then she takes it back. But an attorney, but his attorney says on TV that he did have a gun. I'm not really surprised he has multiple affairs going on. It really sounds like he's the horrible person we thought he was. And I'm sure this is just the beginning of a long string of, of fascinating stories. Like well, that's this. the other thing. How likely is it that we know all of the absurd stuff that George Zimmerman has been involved in? It, it, it just seems unlikely to me. Usually there is more to everything. And the idea that we know everything that's happened, which is the only stuff he's done, is he had that altercation with a cop way back when, and then he had the Trayvon Martin incident, and then he called the police 46 times, and he cheated with two women. It's so unlikely that that's it. You know, there's got to be more. Oh, there has to be. I, I'd put money on it. Maybe not too much money, but I'd put money on no, it. No, yeah, you're not a betting man. You stopped betting, actually, because you kept losing at poker, right? Uh, my losing streak is is insanely long. It makes no <laughs> sense. It's ridiculous. I'm, I'm done. Right. And even given that, he would still bet a little bit of money that there's more to the George Zimmerman story. Let's take a break. We will come back and talk to Dennis Campbell and then a very strange story out of Florida not involving George Zimmerman. Stay with us.